Hi, I'm Peter Alexander, and I want to spend a few minutes telling you about our new online Instant Composer Counterpoint by Fuchs class. Now, Counterpoint is one of those subjects that if you took it in college, you asked the question you asked yourself when you were a teenager, why am I here? Because you sit there and you go through these courses, and you get these rules, and then they tell you, well, you can do what you want uh, and break the rules later on. And then you get out of class and you go, oh, I didn't learn anything to break. Well, that's not how we teach counterpoint here. Uh, the way we teach counterpoint is based on a method that's been in continuous print since 1725, written by a fellow named Johann Josef Fuchs. And this method is as practical today as it was when it first came up. So I want to share just a few of the things that you'll learn from this course, um, and I think you'll find them amazingly productive and important for your writing. The first one is, is that with the so-called rules of counterpoint, well, they're really not rules, they're really guidelines. And when you follow these guidelines, what you learn is how to create singable melodies that people can sing. And that's a really important criteria because if you can't write a melody that people can sing, well, you're going to have a hard time making it in the music business. And so melody is important, and within this course, you're going to pick five specific songs, preferably from different styles, and you're going to analyze those songs to determine how they fit the rules that Fuchs came up with. And that will be the basis on which you'll learn to apply your exercises and to begin writing. Now the next thing that you learn from Counterpoint by Fuchs is how do you create an effective background line above the melody and below the melody? Next, how do you create an effective bass line? Now this is something that always plagues beginning songwriters because after they come up with the melody and they've come up with the chords, the next big question is, well, how do I know what note to put in the bass? Well, with the tools you learn in the Instant Composer, you learn which notes to put in the bass, and you find that you have an awful lot of options you never thought that you had. And along the way, you discover that different options create different sounds, so you have an awful lot of choice from which to work. Well, the next thing that happens with counterpoint is you build your compositional skills. And there are five series of techniques that you learn in this class. And the first one is what we call note against note. The second is two notes against one note. Then you get four notes against one note, syncopation, and then finally the fifth technique, which the ancients called florid. But what florid means is, is that now you've got all the techniques down, and now you begin to learn how to put them together to create a composition on the spot. All right, let me tell you what the materials are you're going to need for this class. Well, first you're going to need the textbook. And that's called Counterpoint by Fuchs, and it's available as either a PDF, so if you're an international student, you can order it and we'll send you a link and you can download it right away, or it's in a printed version as well that we can ship to you here in the United States. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need to pick out five specific songs. Now I have one song in particular I would really like for you to get and that's called Star of Bethlehem by John Williams. Uh, Star of Bethlehem has a lot of cool stuff in it and from it we're going to pick up some techniques that you're not going to find in a lot of pop songs. Uh, so this is a great way to learn and you'll have a lot of fun with it as well. Then in terms of picking your other songs, um, I would really like to encourage you to pick songs by people who have had long-term successful writing careers. By long-term, I mean a decade or more. Um, I would like to see you pick songs by people like George Gershwin and Michel Legrand, two men who studied with Nadia Boulanger in Paris in the early 1900s. Um, another good writer to take a look at is Henry Mancini. He had hmm, maybe 20 or more top hit songs during his lifetime. Uh, Johnny Mandel is another excellent writer. So look for picking guys like that who have really a, a long-term track record. Now, 
just a moment ago I told you that this was about helping to write effective vocal melodies. Well, I would like for you to make sure that you have, um, if you're able to afford it, some type of a vocal library. If you have GarageBand, there's a chorale sound already built in. If you have Logic, there is a choir sound also built into that program as well. If you have a program called Omnisphere, that has a really good vocal program in it. There is Symphonic Choirs from East West, which is also great if you've got that. Um, and then if you're looking for more solo voices, Bella D Media. Now look for the notes below the video and I'll have a link for you where you can look, see their name spelled out properly. But Bella D Media also has an excellent vocal series, one with a soprano and one with uh, a tenor. So you can do a lot of effective writing with those. And then also from East West, they have Voices of Passion. So those are several vocal packages that you can get. Now, what happens if you don't have a vocal pa uh, sound? Well, use the best you have. And in that case, I would recommend using a string sound so that you have something that sustains as you do these examples. Now, the only other thing I would like to encourage you to get but is not required is we've just come out with what we call the Street Smart Guide to the Bach Chorales. And I really want to encourage you to pick up that book. It's not necessary to have for this class because all the Bach Chorales you need to study are in the, the Counterpoint by Fuchs book. But I think it's a great handbook to have with you. You'll learn a lot from it. Uh, and sometimes it's just kind of great when it's late at night and it's just you and the computer. Well, I hate to put it like that, you and the computer. But to be able to sit there and just to key in a chorale and just listen to it and hear the beautiful music and hear the reharmonization, well, that's just such a real treat to be able to do that. Um, one other thing I would encourage you to do as well um, is if you have a sequencing program, you're going to want to do your homework exercises there and use that as an opportunity to build your MIDI mock-up skills and learning how to work with voices. Okay, that's our little overview for the Instant Composer Counterpoint by Fuchs online class. I'm keeping it to 10 students, so I want to encourage you to register now. Class will run for approximately six weeks. We're going to have a great time. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to boost your skills, and I'll look forward to seeing you there.